Hi, YouTubers, one of my favorites everywhere. It's Mark at GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This morning, it's a morning shave, and it's going to be a nice, mild shave this morning. So if you have sensitive skin, or if you're like me, and your skin borders on the sensitive side, and you're looking for products and tools and gear for sensitive skin, uh, this is the right video to look at, because we're going to be talking about some really key tools and shaving gear that will help you get a nice, mild, close, clean shave without any mixed cuts or irritation. So let's get right to it. First thing I'm going to use is, I'm going to be using the Parasso Sensitive Skin Shave Kit. This is absolutely wonderful. If you have sensitive skin, you want to get this right here. It comes with three key ingredients. It comes in a beautiful tin, by the way. And it comes with three key products inside. It comes with, um, some pre-shave, uh, sensitive skin shaving cream in a tube, and also some aftershave balm. Really very, very nice. And as I say, it comes in a very nice tin, so you can hang on to that for whatever. I just kept the packaging in there so you can see how it's laid out when you do receive it. I'm also going to be using my Vikings Blade Godfather razor. This has the classic Gillette Tech head on it. And it also encloses the end tabs of the razor blade, so you won't have those exposed either. So you won't have the problem of, as you're switching from one side to the other, having one of those tabs maybe nick you on the earlobe or underneath the nostril, something like that. Just a nice little added benefit to this particular Gillette Tech head. This gives you a nice, mild shape. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really, really very, very nice. And yet it's very efficient as well. So even though your technique might be off, uh, regardless of the angle that you have, if you're, with, if you're in that wheelhouse, you're going to cut whisker with this, where some other milder razors or mild razors have a very exact cutting angle to it. This one is a little wider. It's a very forgiving razor. Very, very nice. It is a three-piece razor, so it comes with a very nice heavyweight handle, uh, and heavily chromed, very beautifully chromed. Also comes with a base plate and a cap plate. And the cap plate has these four tabs on it. That's where the blade aligns to. We're also going to be using a Vikings Blade mild shaving, uh, mild razor blade for shaving this morning. These are sharp and smooth. They're rated mild, so that's an additional benefit to this morning shave. So, uh, I've got my White Knight Synthetic Badger Brush uh, soaking. I've got some hot water in my shaving bowl, heating it up. So we're gonna open up this blade here and we're gonna load it up and we're gonna, we're gonna get going here. So here's my blade. I'm just gonna put it on my cap right there. I'm gonna join it up with the base plate like that. I'm gonna screw my handle in. Perfect alignment every single time. And there it is. So there's not a lot of blade exposure there, as you can see. It's a very mild, mild razor, mild shave. But really, you, get a, you can get a nice close result with this too as well. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the Parasso pre-shave cream. You want to use this dry. You don't want to use this with you when your face is wet. Even though I had a nice hot shower just before, um, Toweled off, dried off really well. This does work better when uh, your face is dry. Some shaving creams, uh, some pre-shave creams and pre-shave oils work better when you add a little bit of water to your face to help get it, you know, distributed more evenly. This one, not so much. Uh, I use it dry, so we're going to get going to get about uh, about that much, and you will use quite a bit. To get it all over your face. It does have a nice menthol cooling effect. And you want to work it in. I found that when I put this on and let it sit and then work up my lather, it gives it time to set up, so to speak, to Soften the beard, soften the whisker. Really prepare the skin. 
And that's the key to any good wet shave is proper preparation. Do your prep. So you can see I'm working in them really, really well. Especially if you have any trouble areas, like around your neck, around your chin, wherever you might get razor irritation with a more aggressive razor. This is good to work it into those areas as well. And you'll actually have a cooling effect after that, that last uh, cold water rinse. It's really kind of remarkable. But I can feel it cooling my skin right now. So we're going to go to the next step. I'm going to rinse my hands off here. We're going to go to the next step, and we're going to use the Brasso Sensitive Shaving Cream. Now, this comes in a tube. You can see I've used quite a bit of it already. I've used it many times. It's a very good product. It does give you a very good shave, and it really does, does give your skin a lot of nice protection, especially if you have sensitive skin again. So this really is designed for people with sensitive skin. So let me get rid of my hot water out of my shaving bowl. And we're going to go ahead and take about that much right there. Now that's probably a little more than you think, but for some reason, it's probably a little less than what you would pull out of a tub. So I'm going to add a little more. I just, I like to have a little more than not. I'm going to add a little more. I guess it's, when you, when you, Pull something out of a shaving cream tub, you tend to take a little more. When it comes out of a tube, sometimes you're not taking enough. That's why I'm trying to, I'm trying to allow for that error in, in judgment. I can't quite make out how much comes out of a tube. That's just me. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get my White Knight synthetic brush. I'm using the synthetic today because it has a lot of nice backbone. It has a a lot of nice backbone to it. Let me show that to you again. My White Knight, Vikings Blade White Knight Synthetic Badger Brush. I'm using it because it has a lot of nice backbone to it and will whip up a really, really nice lather. And it also has some nice soft bristles to it so that it'll really paint the cream on very, very nicely, softly. Give me also some good coverage. Give me some good, uh, Exfoliation. Really, this is really starting to whip up very, very well. You have to pull it down a little bit. It's starting to pull onto the bottom. Pull on the bottom. P O O L. Starting to pull very nicely on the bottom. And again, the amount of cream that I use will give you, a, should give you a good three passes. And while I'm doing this, I can still feel the cooling effect of the pre-shave on my face. Okay, we're almost there. Well, I got a good, good amount here. You can see how nice that looks right now. Okay, so we're ready to go. Oh boy, I got a lot of cream here. Looks like I'm going to be painting it on more than doing a face lather. Sometimes if you don't whip it up enough in your shaving bowl, you continue on your face and do a face lather. Not so this time around. Looks like I'm just going to be painting it on and getting it on there. Oh yeah, very nice. And it goes on nice and thick. And it gives you a lot of cushion, a lot of protection, but you also have that extra layer of the pre-shave cream there too. So you're going to be shaving through two layers on that first pass. So you have to take your time and make sure you rinse your razor a little more frequently, a little more often because of all the shaving cream on there. But wow, that really did paint down well. I didn't have to do any face lathering at all, and I got plenty left, which is nice. I'm going to rinse my hands a little bit here, and I'm going to heat up my Vikings Blade Godfather razor, something I like to do. Get really, really hot water and get that blade 
nice and hot as I'm turning it from side to side. And then give it a swirl in the warmer water so it's just at the right temperature, something I do. All right, so here we go. 30 degrees, light touch, let the razor do the work, gentlemen. You can see it's building up quite a bit because it's so thick and because the razor is so mild. So you do have to rinse a little more often, but you get a nice result. You're going to find that you'll have to stretch your skin a little more just to make sure you can cut through all that cream. Kind of bring the whisker out a little bit. I don't stretch my skin with two hands. I just use facial stretches. I find anything more than that is a little too extreme. So I am leaving a little bit of cream behind with this razor, just a little bit here and there. But again, that's because it's a mild razor. It's giving me a mild shave. I'm going to be doing three passes, so don't worry. And again, it's a mild razor and I have two layers of cream there. I find when I'm using this razor that when I'm going around my chin, I actually choke up a little bit right there on the ribbing of that neck of the handle there. And for some reason, it gives me really nice control. I think it's just the, the weight of the razor and the balance here. It's almost like a little pendulum here, so where I have a little control there. Okay. All right, that's the first pass. Again, very mild, two layers of shaving cream. So you don't really get that really clean, sweeping swath of the shaving cream. Uh, because it is a mild eraser, there's not that much blade, blade exposure. But if you're a beginner, if you have sensitive skin, that's what you want. And again, two, two layers of shaving cream or of cream here. So let's rinse and we'll get on a layer, we'll get on the pass too. All right. Pass one was nice. Very good, okay. Um, knock down the beard a good deal. Pass two should be even better. Um, I'm really feeling that menthol from the uh, pre-shave on my face, which is very nice. I'm gonna do a little face lather here to work it up a little more. I like this synthetic brush because I can actually, it's got a lot of backbone, it's got a lot of action here too, where I can really get some nice lathering from it. Now that I'm only gonna have one layer of cream, this next pass will be more efficient. And again, I got plenty of shaving cream. And I try to put a little more in from the tube. With the tub, as I say, you grab it, you kind of know what you've got there with the tube. Well, like I say, it's I don't know, just me, I guess. Hard for me to judge how much coming out of that tube and how much is going to be enough. 
always like to have a little more than not. Okay. So this is past number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Again, you have to rinse. It starts building up a little bit. Seem to hit a better angle on that side than the other side of my face, that is. There we go. Haven't really used this razor in a while. Boy, it's so refreshing to come back to it. Because it does give you such a nice mild shade. Really, very, very comfortable. Very forgiving. And again, Although you're varying the angle, you're not really without cutting utility. You're really, you're, you're really there with it. Okay, that's pass number two. Let's rinse. You know, the second pass was very nice. If I wanted to, I could go to the office right now because that's how nice that pass was. Very, very nice. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a third pass against the grain. Have plenty of cream here. Plenty of cream. And enough for some touch-up as well. If I wanted to. And it goes on really nice coverage. It goes on nice and thick. Okay. So this is going to be pass number three, and we're going to go against the grain.
Nice shake. Gonna do a rinse real quick. Through pass down. What I like to do is I like to empty my sink here and go to a nice warm water rinse right out of the tap because it's clear water, you don't have the excess soap in there. Okay, now I'm going to go to cold water, close my pores. And this is where that menthol and the pre-shave will really kind of come alive. Wow, that's a great feeling. That was a nice shave. Nice and mild. Got a fresh, clean towel here all set for me. All ready to go. Oh. Boy, that was nice. Very, very nice. Oh, boy. Terrific, terrific shave, really. I mean, I'm surprised, nice and close, even though it's a mild razor and a mild blade, and I'm using sensitive shaving cream and a pre-shave. Just really, really nice. Now, ordinarily, I would finish up with Porasso's aftershave splash. It has alcohol in it, and that's good in case you want to close up any little, small micro abrasions, that sort of thing. But uh, because this is a sensitive skin shave, we're going to be using Prasso uh, Post Shave Balm here, which is alcohol free and it moisturizes your skin. And it is cold outside and it's getting to be winter. So we're going to put some of this about that much there. And very nice. Really does a great job of moisturizing your skin and really protecting it. I like to get a little bit for my head upstairs because it is winter and I want to protect it up there too as well. So. That's it. Great shave. A really nice, mild shave. Really, really terrific. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, I'm really, really impressed with that. And of course, using the Godfather uh, razor with a Vikings blade, razor blade, also really helps in the equation. So this is what you want to get. You want to get some Parasso Sensitive Skin Shave Kit with those three key elements in there. It's got the, the three key products, tools, the uh, pre-shave cream, the shaving cream, and the aftershave lotion all geared for sensitive skin. Get a mild razor, get a mild razor blade, Godfather, Vikings blade, razor blade, and uh, you'll get a really, really terrific, close, comfortable, irritation, cut-free, nick-free shave. Really, really, very, very nice. I was, uh, it was a terrific shave. All right, hey, thanks very much. Thanks for tuning in, really appreciate it. Um, Comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. 
and I'll see you again real soon.